out, um, which I'm excited for as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start the Instagram. And so today we're doing some of the usual stuff. Uh, and then we have, I think, like one or two new moves um, for the lower body, which always excites me because I like doing new things. Um, we're going to do this one strength circuit style. So we are going to have some cardio in there. It is not going to be a lot of jumping today. Um, so earlier this week, we did pure strength circuit. We had no cardio whatsoever. Um, for this one, we're going to be going through our exercises twice, um, but we are going to get the heart rate elevated a little bit in there. Our intervals are one minute per exercise. So we're going a little bit longer, a little bit harder. We'll take breaks in between. We're going to do great because we always do. Uh, so let's go ahead and get our cycle started. Grab water, grab your brain, and let's hop on up. Um, the first upper body exercises everyone's going to be super familiar with. We usually do these three a lot. Um, it's the wrist curl, the tricep extension, and the bicep curl. After that, we're doing floor push-up to star. So I drop all the way down to the floor. I reach, press myself back up, and then we have X planks, which are side to side plank. Okay, so those are our upper body moves. Uh, we got a minute each. We're gonna go through them twice. So let's start with some wrist curl to get ourselves going, pulling the shoulders away. First minute, let's go ahead and jump on it. Nice. So we've been playing with this idea of circuit more, and I really like it. We get to break up the routine a little bit more. And we have an extra opportunity to try the exercises. And a full minute is a lot of work, but we can definitely do it, getting those wrists going, working into the form. Awesome, half done. Happy Thursday, everybody. Good to see you. And I'm just gonna hype it up while I'm here. Tomorrow, I'm very excited. We have some really funky mobility-based stuff that we're gonna do. I've been collecting all my mobility exercises this week and we're doing them all tomorrow. Good, last four. Three, two, and one. Next exercise of our circuit, the tricep, tricep extension. Pull the elbows in, little bend in the knees, flat back. We extend out and in. Press out and in. One minute, let's go for it. And as you press out, I really want you to imagine that you're pushing something away from you so vigorously with the pinky finger side of your hand, really getting into those triceps. So I kind of let my hands fall, and then I press, fall, press. And we'll get going the other way for our bicep curls on our next set. Good. So this is my pace. If you want to go faster, by all means, jump into it. Fully extending the arms straight back, keeping the shoulders away from the ears to get into the triceps. And I have some good friends who I made use the band for the first time yesterday, and they just about died and wondered how everyone does this three, four, or five times a week. So good job to those who keep coming. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Shrug the shoulders out. Next up, we have our bicep curls. So elbows in, one minute, pull them in, release them down. This time we're focusing on pull, release, pull, release. That's it, time is rolling. We're jumping right into the workout today. And we also are doing two rounds of our core work today. So core is always very important, it's especially important to me. So we're gonna get a little extra core work in as well. Great. Good, now noticing your cycle on this first round of doing these exercises, and just seeing if it's too easy, if it's too hard, or if it's just right. Because what we do in the first round, we get to modify to make better, even more efficient for the second round. Good. Last 15 seconds. Up. Up. Release. Nice. Woo, feel that burn. Mm -hmm. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Release it. Roll the shoulders out. All right. So floor push up to star. The most important thing that I want to see here is as you lower yourself down towards the floor, your body stays flat. I do not want to see this. 
if you start to sag and you notice your knees dropping before your hips, do the whole thing on your knees. I reach forward, star, press my hands down, press right back up, okay? So go ahead and make your way into plank position. We're going in three, two, and one. I lower down nice and slowly. Arms and legs come up, hands to the floor, nice flat back, right back up into plank. Yes. Good. Good, and this is a slow move because we wanna make sure that our body stays flat as we lower down, reach, hands down, right back up with a flat back. And if you need to drop your knees to do it, that's totally cool, half done. Keep going, awesome job. <laughs> There we go. Good, last 10. Give me one or two more. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, everyone. Make your way onto hands and knees. Draw some circles with the wrist. Move around the other one. And we're gonna step our way back into plank position again. Wrist over underneath shoulders, heels pulling back behind us. We have one minute X plank. So time is going, press your hips up and back, tap hand to opposite leg, shift forward. Press it back, tap, shift forward. Each time you do this, see if you can get your hand closer and closer down towards your foot as we strengthen the upper body and open up the backs of the hamstring. Yes, there we go. We've got one minute, then we're gonna get our heart rate up and then we're gonna do it again. Awesome, Whoop, moving my stuff, keep going. Good, I've got Instagram going, I've got Zoom going, everyone's hearts are going, I'm happy. <laughs> Great. Good, I love it. 25 more seconds. And lift those hips up and back. Good, now if you're comfortable with it, see if you can pick up the pace a little bit. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Press the hips up and back, pedal out the legs. Walk, walk, walk your hands back to meet your feet. Roll on up to stand. And we're gonna get our heart rate up and we're gonna do our circuit one more time. So our three moves, 30 seconds each, we have squat, alternate butt kick. I drop down into squat, reach my arms up, kick, squat, kick. Okay, that's number one. Number two, high knees, run it out, get those knees really high. And then last 30 seconds, we're dropping down mountain climbers like so, okay? So first up, we have squat, alternate butt kicks. We're going in three, two and one, drop into squat, arms come up, kick, squat, kick, there we go. Nice. And as you reach the arms up, try and pull them all the way in line with the ears. That's it, good. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and high knees, get them up. 30 seconds here, then we drop down for our mountain climbers. That's it. Great. Whew. We're not doing too, too much jumping today. Good, last 10. Get those knees nice and high, use your core. Mm -hmm. We have five, four, three, and two. Everyone drop down, 30 seconds mountain climbers, here we go. Good. Breathe it out, get those knees even higher, keep going. Whew, good job. <laughs> nice work, Instagram. Mount climbers, last 10. 
Yeah. Good. We have six, five, feet up, four, three, two, and one. Everyone hop on up to stand. We're going to repeat our upper body circuit again, working smaller muscles to bigger muscles. So take a breath, grab a sip of water. We got 30 seconds, and then we're going to get going again. That wasn't so bad. We can do that again. All right. So, good. Adjusting our cycles as need be. If you need to go harder, now's your chance. You know what you're getting yourself into. So, adjust accordingly. And we're going to start with our wrist curls. So, go ahead and pull the shoulders down by your side. This time, we're going to do an upward wrist curl. So, instead of pulling my fingers in towards my forearm, I'm pulling my knuckles in towards my forearm. We're going in three, two, and one. Upward wrist curls. Yeah, we got a whole minute. Great. And up. Good. And I see a couple questions on Instagram. Feel free to shoot us a message um, via DM. We're happy to answer any questions there as well. I'm gonna keep that workout going for today. Awesome. Good. Really squeeze the fist. Take up the pace. Fire up the forearm. Awesome. 20 more seconds. All out fast. Lift, 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 lift. There we go. I feel it. The magic of the band. Last 10. Woo. Keep pulling the shoulders down. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Elbows in. Tricep extension. So working the backs of our arms. I take a little bend in my knees to help me get lower into that extension. Nice straight spine, or even think back bend, lifting your chest up. We're going in three, two, and one. Press the hands out. Let them fall. Out, fall, out, and in. Good. Really fully extending the arms out behind you. And if it hurts too much in the back, you can always do it standing. But it's nice to take a bend so we can get a little bit more depth. Press. Yes, pinky fingers up. Mm-hmm. Now, we have our minute. I want to see you do your best not to stop the entire time. Even if it burns, we're on our second set of two. So this is our last tricep work of the day. Cool. Half done. If you have the bend in your knees, make sure your core is engaged to support your back so we're not getting wonky. Good. Out. And out. Good. Last 15 seconds. Go, Jeff. Go. Yes, I'm going to sing at you guys, apparently. We have eight, seven, yes, Bonnie, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So we work the backs of our arms, work the front of our arms with bicep curls. Pull the elbows in. One minute. Try not to let your arms fully straighten. So keep a little bend in your elbows so that your biceps are contracted the whole time. Three, two, one, here we go. I'm going to set my cycle really hard and I'm going to move slowly, keeping my biceps pumped, contracted the whole time. But if moving fast feels more like your speed, this is your workout. What I give are simply suggestions of exercises to do. You know your body best. So, whatever you need to modify, whatever speed you need to take, it's important to listen to our bodies. Great. Ooh. Oh, it's getting hard. <laughs> awesome. Pump it. Half done. Good. 15 more seconds. All the way. Squeeze. Pump. <sighs> Last 10. This is our chance to do whatever reps we have and make them great for five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, bicep stretch. Clasp the hands. Open them up. All right. We have our two moves on the floor, plank to star, and then X plank. 
On plank to star, my recommendation to make sure that you're keeping good form is to lower down as slowly as you can. So think three, two, one, star, press up, three, two, one, okay? So make your way into plank position, one minute in, you guessed it, three, two, and one. Go for it. Good. So why do we move slowly? We move slowly to make sure that we have good form, but also to be aware of the muscles that we're using to build strength. We're not just slapping our body onto the floor. We're contracting the muscles, controlling the body, and moving with intention. Half done. Mm -hmm. Cool. We're doing floor push-up to star. For those who are just joining, last 15 seconds. Good. Last 10. Good. See if you can do one or two more for five, four, three, two, and rest the knees. Give the wrists a roll, release them. Quick stretch, extend your left arm forward, point the fingertips down, and use your right hand to get a deeper stretch into the wrist. Now, as I do this, my elbow is not bending, it's fully extended away from my body. Good, switch sides. Is this flexibility or mobility? Give me one thumb up if you think it's flexibility, give me two if it's mobility. Mm. Seeing two thumbs, two thumbs. It is mobility. This is a joint. Awesome. All right. Last up, let's make our way back into plank position. We have one minute of X plank. For this one, I'll let you choose. You can move fast if you want to move fast, or you can move slower and focus on getting your hand closer down to your foot each time you do it. So some of these are kind of choose your own adventure. Uh, the benefit of moving fast is your heart rate elevates more. The benefit of moving slower is that we're opening up the backs of the legs, gaining more flexibility. Either way, the arms are working, so I'm happy. All right, we're going in four, three, two, and one. Come into plank position. Shift back, tap, and forward. Tap, and forward. And if you really move slow, get fingers to toes. Or maybe you move faster. Awesome. That's this. We're going to get our heart rate going. We're going to grab some water, have our question of the day. And then we'll swap out to our leg bands. Great. Good. Last 20 seconds. You can do it. Even if you're taking pauses in plank, just moving, holding something. Good. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, two more, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and everybody hop on up to stand. First 30 seconds, squat, arm reach, opposite butt kick. We're going in three. Two and one. We go squat, kick, squat, kick. Good. Try and keep these fast because we're getting a heart rate up. There we go. Awesome. Last seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. High knees, run it out. But not just running, high knee running. So maybe more like marching. Get those arms going too, why not? Good, 15 more seconds. Then we're coming down for some mountain climbers and then we're swapping out our bands. All right, give me seven, six, five, four, three, Two, and drop into it. Mountain climbers, ready, set, go. 30 seconds. 
climb up that mountain of your choice in your mind. Ooh, go Z go. Bonnie is flying. Sophia and Sydney are here today. Good to see you guys. Awesome, Georgia can't see you, but I can see your backyard and it looks lovely. <laughs> 10 seconds, all in, sprint. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's swap out our bands, arms to legs. And our question of the day is, hmm, I had a good one. And then I forgot it for a second. Oh, what, this is kind of a selfish one because I like exploring places in nature. Um, so I want to know, what is the most spectacular thing in nature that you've seen or experienced? And it can be peaking, summiting a mountain, or it can be your own backyard. But I'd love to hear some of our favorite nature sites or experiences. Diving, diving in Palau 